We are defenders of the night. We are gargoyles. I'd give much to see Manhattan Spires again. This is such a clever premise to connect two storylines. Plex's desire to avoid the gathering leading to his manipulating Goliath's desire to return home. <laughs> Gloriously over the top structure, this is. It's fascinating how much this mirrors the regular area building. It's awesome and incredibly impractical. Let's with these upgraded steel clone robots. This is what you most ask for from alternate universe stories. Very alternate versions of characters and things you've grown familiar with over the years. The skiff here is just a set of moments which hammer home the severity of this transformed world Goliath now finds himself in. Nice subtle detail most viewers would not notice at first. When this claw. It's better what catastrophe led to his wings being removed is left up to the imagination. <laughs> Brutal and terrifying all at once. Again, more subtle detail here one might not notice at first. That uh, shows this otherwise random woman is actually Maria Chavez's daughter. Just another example of how virtually nothing in this story is without connection to what we've seen before. Rejoice, Rejoice my, my people. people. The age the of Xanatopia is, is at hand. hand. All, All of your, your suffering, suffering and hardship, hardship will soon come, come to an end. end. And the rest of the world will enjoy the fruits of my benevolent leadership. Soon, my people. Well, at least we now know what the pyramid is for, eh? Look at this little clever nod to Disney's Golden Age, which will never be presented in such an ironic fashion in here. Brooklyn! Welcome back, Goliath. I've been waiting a long time for this. One of the biggest emotional shocks of the episode, in my opinion and a brilliant writing decision. Here you see the start of Goliath's not only being forced to confront non-established enemies, but former friends as well. Broadway, I knew you'd come back. Others doubted, but I never lost faith. It's fascinating how Broadway can evoke both sympathy and terror in this scene. He's the one true member who still even likes Goliath, yet his amputation is the exact opposite of Claws, as in instantly noticeable. And chilling. What happened to him? Broadway, Talon, Maggie, and Coldstone battled Severius and the Ultra Pack to save the last free humans from being turned into mutates. Broadway was the lucky one. Brooklyn does an expo dump quite effectively, describing Broadway's fate without going into too much detail, leaving just enough to the imagination here. Demona! Are you mad? She's our enemy! Not anymore. Are you alright, my love? Yes. Now that I'm back in your arms. This revelation really seems quite implausible and doesn't quite add to the dystopia surrounding Goliath, but damn if it's not a fascinating surprise and a great risk taken by the writing team. Lexington, what has happened to you? No time for explanations. Fox has infiltrated Xanatos' lair. We're receiving the transmission now. I really love the audio effects used for Lexington's voice here. Never comes across as more of a badass in this series. Where in the world are they? Somewhere inside the Eerie Pyramid. I'm trying to pinpoint the signal. I'm disappointed, Alexander. Did you really believe I didn't know you had joined Brooklyn's Rebels? The animation in this episode is excellent in general, but this battle between Xanatos and Alexander is wonderfully over the top and it's heavily anime-influenced animation. And once they're gone, there'll be no one left to stop me. In fact, before this night is over, I'll literally be king of the world.
And since I'm immortal, I have no need of an heir. Could you believe this is a Disney production? Is there a death scene in any animated Disney production more violent and gruesome than this? Isn't it great? Broadway! Hold on, Broadway. If you can last until sunrise, you'll be healed. Oh. Yes. The sun. Can you see it, Goliath? It's beautiful. Goodbye, my friend. More death in a Disney cartoon. This death scene isn't as vicious as Alexander's, but clearly what it lacks in violence and more than makes up for an emotion. This is a death of a character most viewers have come to know and love, unlike Alexander. The scene with Goliath's wings here is also a nice touch. Really? Since Hudson and I quarreled. destroyed sad but true however my brain patterns and personality were successfully downloaded into my computer network granting me the immortality i've always desired as unnecessary as this exposition from xanatos is it is quite entertaining to watch xanatos really did die in the fight with hudson i just kept his memory alive so i could run the show unmolested i also will admit as absurd as it is that Lexington was the evil force behind everything in this episode, it is yet another jarring plot twist that makes this effective. Just like with the Brooklyn Demona pairing is not its possibility, but rather the effect it has on you as a viewer. Seeing these characters you've grown so familiar with in situations so out of character for them is attention grabbing and extremely fun to see. You're not Lisa. Who are you? I was so close. So close. Puck. One more thing to add about Puck in this story. It's not really just Goliath's desire to return home, which he exploits to quite entertaining effect. It's also his borderline irrational contempt for Xanatos. Goliath should have been suspicious from the beginning. Why has Xanatos ever shown such conventional interest in supervillainy as in this story? It is fascinating to think that, as this episode demonstrates, how easily Xanatos could take over New York City nor the world for that matter. Seemingly no endless amount of resources, so why couldn't we create an army of mutates and robots? Or Thalogs, if we chose to do so. It has resources many supervillains in other series can only dream of, but does not use them so conventionally, which makes it much more complex and compelling than those other villains. It. Puck may try his deception again. I can't chance him succeeding. Goliath, what's this all about? Deslagrate Muri Tempi et Intervalia! The climax to this emotionally training story, not only beautifully animated but clever on Goliath's part, this actually is the best way to keep the gate out of any evil being's hands.